Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this course, we are going to see all about Azure OpenAI exercises. Okay, so we are going to perform some of the exercises which are on generative AI and uh, the offerings on Azure Cloud from OpenAI. All the OpenAI services which are available on Azure, we are going to do some hands-on on that. For that, I have also created Azure subscription using my account this one. You can use this email if you have any queries to write it to me. So let's proceed. So in this code, first hands on is exploring generative AI with Bing Copilot. So let's open this in a new tab and move to this new tab. Here, we'll go through this whole course or hands on write up given here on this page one by one. So before you start, you need a personal Microsoft account. If you do not have one, go to signuplife.com to sign up and create a personal account, which I already have, which is sarfarazit 8 which I already have. So I'll be using this account. Okay. Now open bing.com and sign in with your personal Microsoft account. So let me open this in a new tab. Okay, I've opened it and I have also signed it using that same account, right? So that's the first thing I have done. So I have already signed in. Okay, if you don't know how to sign in, you will see this type of icon where if you are signed out, you can click on sign in button, which will be showing here, and then give all the account details like email id and password and sign in using microsoft live account okay and for creating that live account you can go to this site and create one now moving so once you sign in using your work or school account you'll see a slightly different user experience than what i see as a personal account so this is my personal microsoft account but you will see a different uh, UI. Okay. So that's for being enterprise chat. Okay, because it's related to your work and school. So it will be an enterprise chat. Next, select chat from the menu at the top of the screen. Chat brings you to bring copilot. Okay. So I'll select chat and it is taking me to this chat interface being chat interface next what this means is that unlike search alone like normally what we do in google search or bing search we have some search bar we click some words here some points here and then we just hit enter or click on search button and we can search that term online using the Bing or Google search engine or any other search engine. But here, unlike any search engine, Bing Copilot can put together new responses based on natural language modeling. So it works on a NLP or natural language processing, which gives responses similar to what a human normally uh, speaks or uh, listens, right? So that kind of uh, language, these AIs, artificial intelligence built into the Bing browser, Bing chat, uh, it can provide. And it's basically using Bing, uh, is using chat GPT fourth version, right? We have other old versions like chat GPT 3.5 as well, and chat GPT 3. But here, Bing Chat is using Chat GPT 4. Okay. Now, towards the bottom of the screen, you'll see a window. Ask me anything. Let me keep uh, these tabs side by side. So that way, we'll be able to see it more properly. Okay. So this is our chat interface. And here it is saying, ask me anything. Right. As you enter the prompt into the window, Bing Copilot uses the entire conversation thread to return the sponsor. 
so let's try one thing yeah. so in the prompt or here in the ask me anything i am going to write this one what are the three pros and cons of traveling in a winter in the winter i can also speak using this microphone or i can type the whole thing here so let me just speak it in the microphone i'll allow microphone what are the three pros and cons of traveling in the winter so this is the prompt i have given searching for pros and cons of traveling in the winter traveling in winter has its own set of advantages and disadvantages Here are some of the pros and cons of traveling in winter. Pros: cheaper prices. Winter is considered an off season for travel, which means that many airlines, hotels, and tour operators offer discounts to attract more customers. Fewer crowds. Since winter is not a popular time to travel, there are fewer tourists at popular destinations. This means that you can enjoy the sights and sounds without having to deal with large crowds. Winter sports. If you're a fan of winter sports like skiing, snowboarding, or ice skating, then traveling in winter is perfect for you. Many ski resorts offer great deals during the winter months. Cons. Bad weather. Winter weather can be unpredictable and harsh, which can lead to flight cancellations, delays, and other travel disruptions. Limited daylight during the winter months the days are shorter which means that you have less time to explore your destination seasonal closures some attractions and activities may be closed during the winter months due to weather conditions or seasonal closures i hope so once you click stop the read out then it will stop in between whatever it is reading out right so all this response that you get it's very customized a uh, bulleted point a very structured way right you can see the response with all the headings mentioned here pros and cons and each bullet points have sub headings as well right so that's what you are going to see as a chat response now here if i'll just give find me three pros right i'll copy this and paste it here and just send it or submit it okay so it will give me the response of pros of traveling in winter so i give only these three or four words right find me three more pros right but chat uh, this chat interface or chat gpt already knows about the context in which i am talking right which is about the winter pros and cons winter season or traveling in the winter season right so that's the context like what are the pros and cons of traveling in the winter so this is the actual context traveling in winter okay and if i am asking for pros so it is already giving me these three pros of traveling in winter so it already knows about the context now if i just write this one okay so let me just use my microphone to give this prompt what are three places i can go to find fewer crowds searching for places to travel in winter with fewer crowds i stop playing this but i can get the response still right so read out is stop but the response is coming from chat gpt ai so we get this three uh, results or responses about the places where we can travel and we'll have fewer cloud crowds okay so tuscany italy saint lucia and mount fuji or fuji in japan all these options we are get right so notice that the bing co pilot is able to give a related response okay it can drop earlier memories of the conversation thread as it continues as a result the responses you get may not be directly related to the traveling in the winter this is largely due to the token input limitation when chat remembers earlier parts of the conversation or the context of the conversation it is because it has saved a certain amount of tokens from the conversation so earlier we gave this prompt right pros and cons of traveling in winter it already got the context by that query from that query okay so it already knows about the content okay 
as new tokens are introduced by your new prompt and response the chat will let go of older tokens so as we go further and give some varied prompts or different prompts which is different than this context existing context then the older tokens will get removed and newer tokens based on our newer prompts and topics that we are writing here it will be saved within chat gpt okay so it will remember the new tokens basically and reply based on the newer token the new topic button next to the chat window is useful being for pilot to clear the previous conversation so if you click on the new topic it will omit or remove all the older uh tokens basically and it will start a new topic with a a blank slate you can say or with, without any token it has served, okay without any token so this will be very new topic now we can also give prompts like create an image of an elephant eating a hamburger so this will generate a new images okay using dali okay dali is a generative uh, ai for image generation right so it will generate images based on the text prompt that we will give okay so let's give this prompt instead i'll give a different prompt and let's see what happens okay create an image of a dog eating a hamburger searching for dog e dog eating hamburger right so that's my prompt and here you can see the response which is almost look like uh, uh which is looking very real like a dog is eating a hamburger right and it's generated by dali now if you notice the responses may look similar but not the same okay these are looking very similar but all these images are different maybe from side view from top or or front view like that okay so these are very different uh responses image responses right so in the response there is a text at the bottom that reads powered by dali so consider how dali is based on large language model as your natural language input generates image so dali is nothing but a uh, image generation uh, ai or artificial intelligence which is trained on so many images to generate realistic images based on our text so whatever the text prompt we are giving like dog eating hamburger it is trying to take that text as tokens and then based on the tokens trying to identify context like hamburger dog and the process is about eating so it's trying to generate a images which are almost similar but not the same and considering these token so a dog eating hamburger okay now return to bing co pilot chat by clicking on the microsoft bing icon on the top right corner of the screen okay so if we click on this so this opens a small side window right now let's see an example of code generation and translation type in a prompt use python to create a list okay so i'll just give this prompt copy this and paste it here and submit it use python to create a list and here you can see some examples related to python code where it's trying to create an empty list and then it's trying to add three numbers 1 to m3 within that list and then here we can see the output if we print the list okay so there is a shortcut way like that my list equal to within this square bracket you put all the list items like 1 to m3 number so this is how chat gpt is also able to give us python codes 
right now type in the prompt translate that into c sharp so the current code that we have in the python we want it to be converted to a c sharp based code so we'll just click uh, or type give the prompt translate that into c sharp okay and then that code will be translated into a c sharp based coding where we are creating a new list which is following a c sharp syntax right then we are adding three numbers 1 2 and 3 and then we are using console dot write line to print that list of items okay one by one using for each loop okay and iterating over the list items okay so this is the result or we can create a new list by hard coding the values like 1 2 and 3 directly okay so both ways we can create a list now here is a bonus prompt what are the three examples of generative ai helping people okay so let's do that we'll copy this okay and let's put here in this chat window i'll close this you can always call this chat window from here or you can go to this window and then you can put your prompt here let me submit this so these are the examples of generative ai helping people like healthcare accessibility product development coding there could be more we asked only three so it's giving three responses so that's about exploring the generative ai with bing so that's all for now in the next section we'll explore azure open ai services okay and for that we are going to use our azure uh, cloud portal please like share and subscribe to my channel and also comment below if you found this video interesting thank you bye bye